What's up guys, it's Professor Clues here, and yes, we are doing another squad builder, and this one's a Liga Portuguesa, I think that's how you say it, and it's in a 41212 formation, and it costs about 120k, and that's, that might seem quite expensive for a league like Liga Portuguesa, but it is because that there is three informs in this team. Uh, yes, I thought maybe when I uh, introduced second inform, Boney in one of my squad builders, I thought maybe do... Um, another one with maybe more informs and that's exactly what I've done and yeah we're just going to get straight into it so we'll just quickly change the thing into the league into Liga Portuguesa and then we can talk about this uh, pretty good team so yeah in goal we have got Helton superb goalkeeper got some great all-round stats with 83 dive and 83 five reflexes again those are the two standout stats and that's what I look for but uh, it just seems incredible he really i don't know what it is it's just uh i think his other stats like his handling and his position especially his positioning do help a lot uh to make him an even better goalkeeper so he's always in the right place uh i mean like diego alves he's got night diving night one reflexes or something like that and he yeah he's an amazing goalkeeper but his position is really poor i think it's in the low 70s possibly but this guy's pretty beast with his great positioning, so he's always in the right place, right time, as well as good diving and good reflexes, like I said. Uh, at right back, we have got Danilo. I think that's how you say it. Um, and yeah, 87, 86 pace, should I say. I keep thinking he's got 87, but he's got 86. 80 dribble, um, 76 defending. A bit, bit uh, low for a right back. Uh, but then again, he is a typical, and, uh, typical attacking right back that's from Brazil pretty normal because <laughs> Brazil all the Brazilian right backs like Dani Alves, Maicon um, like pretty much all of them are all just attacking um, and he's no different got some some passing which is really good for a right back or any defender so a pretty good attacking right back I'd, I'd say our first centre back is Garay or Zeki or Garay. Actually, a really great solid def uh, centre back. 66 pace. Um, could be better, but uh, it's pretty average for a uh, a defender, so I'm not too fussed about that. And he's got a free defender, and that's what really makes him a great player. Uh, he's just a rock, pretty much, sometimes. He just makes it really hard to get past. And he's pretty good at coming up for corners. 6 foot 4, so. Um, even if his heading's only 77, he's still pretty good in the air because he sort of towers over players, which is good. And obviously, defensively, he wins most headers, which is good also. Our uh, second centre-back is Mangala, and this guy is an absolute tank, as most of you know. He's non-rare, which don't be put off by, please. Um, he's just a really, really solid defender. 79 pace, which is just a superb start, and then 77 defending. An 80 head and it's just a really good play like he's he's got the likes of Dav Louise and Dog Boner type. He's very good. Um just not in as good of leagues. Um but a very good defender nevertheless. And our left back is maybe a bit of a surprise. I was thinking of getting this guy in form as making it four in forms, but that would make it maybe sort of the one fifty range. But we've got Alexandro uh, normal card. Again, he's non rare. Uh but he's actually really good. He's surprisingly good. He pays, feels a bit faster, I think, that anyway. 70 dribble, which is really good for a fullback. So, again, he's pretty attacking just looking at those two stats. But 75 defending, not bad considering he is actually 75 rated. Um, so, I'd say he's pretty all-round good player. Our CDM is João Montinho, and he's just an all-round tank. I mean, 78 pace, 83 dribble. Uh, 76 shot and A3 passing, those are his standout stats. And uh, I wouldn't play him centre attacking mid, I wouldn't say he's pacey enough. I think you need a more pacey player for centre attacking mid, but he actually does the job in either centre mid or CDM, and he works really well there. And a very good player in those positions. Right mid, we've got Gaitan. Uh, he's got A3 pace on his card, but for me, I think he feels a lot faster than that. I think he's like XR Ridge, like 86 or something, so. He does get off the mark quite quick, and that probably makes me think he actually feels really fast. And he is pretty fast, but he's very agile and he's got great dribbling. So he beats players with ease, and he's not got a bad shot either, so that's good and uh, worth getting. Left mid, we have got Diego Capel, one of these sort of overpower overpowering, I can't even say the word, but uh, one of these 
overrated cheap players i got him for four and a half k but that was simply because it's in the most expensive formation and uh left wing to left mid formation uh, position change should i say is a a very expensive one but nevertheless very good for attacking down the wing four star skills as well and a really good player and obviously we've only got three slots left and i said three in form so this is the first of our forms and it is james rodriguez in form Superb player, so agile, so <laughs> just amazing. 8 to 1 pace, which is really good for a CM. Just what you want to sort of see around that sort of range. 86 dribble, which is great. 82 shot. I think he's got like 87 long shot, so he's great for from anywhere, pretty much. And 85 passing, which really does show he plays some great through balls to our strikers, as we will see in a minute. Um, he's only scored one goal for me at the moment, but he's actually... Uh, it was actually a really, really good goal. I think he beat like three players with one move because of his dribbling, his agility and his pace and just finesse into the bottom corner. So he, sh he does show some quality uh, with that. So a very good player, I would say. And our first inform, uh, second inform and first striker is Jackson Martinez. We'll go with this guy first. And this guy is an absolute tank. 84 pace, just... Uh, feels so much faster to be honest and 74 shot that's got to be a lie surely um he's just got a rocket of a shot an 83 heading just great in the air won me a game with his head and he's already scored five goals in four games for me so that really shows great talent <laughs> i must say and our final player and our final and third in form it is Cardoso, and i want to leave this guy last because i have quite a lot to say about this guy um you might be a bit put off by his pace and it's not really that surprising um, yes, he is a bit sluggish, i got to say, um, but he has got some good things about him. I mean, he's got amazing shot. It's just incredible. Um, the downside about his shot, though, is he's only two star skills, and I think this is probably the most disappointing thing about him. Not his pace, but his two star skills, because uh, he can't shoot with his right foot. You have to get on his left, and it's quite difficult, actually, to get it onto his left foot to shoot. Um and as you can see, I've not scored yet with him, but I'm sure time will come when I will score with him. Uh, he's also great in the air with his A2 heading, and also being 6'4". Uh, but his strength is what makes him better uh, attacking-wise, and like, he can hold off players really well. And yeah, Also, he seems to make great runs, even though his pace um, is a bit of a letdown. Like... He seems to help James Rodriguez with his 85 passing. He makes great runs. I don't know his attacking position, but I think that's what the main stat for making good runs for. Uh, I'm guessing it's pretty high. But I don't know. He's pretty. He's a bit on and off. Um, a bit unsure about him yet, but it's. I suppose it depends how you play at the moment. I suppose it depends how you play, really. If you are really good without pacey players, then he will fit in your team really well because his shot is just incredible and his heading is really good um strength wise brilliant um but this just the two star weight foot that's the disappointing thing for me because with such a great shot you could do so many things if you had four star weak foot but anyways that's pretty much it uh for this episode and i hope you enjoyed it um if you did please leave a like and be even better if you subscribed uh but thanks for watching guys peace